Hi guys, thanks so much for stopping back by the channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to merge tops, which is going to be the t-shirt layer, without doing a component transfer glitch. No deleting characters, no needing a Krampus mask, no swapping characters whatsoever. This is all done solo, except for joining jobs, of course, on your character. So in the video, I'm going to be showing you merging a paramedic belt and also an air racing suit belt. Some of the other tops you can merge that are the t-shirt layer are the trash vest, air racing suit belts, the overcoat blazer bib, half turtlenecks, any of the gun belts you can unlock with the heist casino missions, the juggernaut armor. I'm going to be listing those in the description, different methods to get those items, and then I'll be uploading additional videos to support some of those so I can actually show you how to get those more unique items like the paramedic belt um, and then potentially the juggernaut armor. So if you have any questions, please make sure you always refer to the description first after watching the video. Definitely leave comments. It's pretty simple once you get through it. If you're used to merging or transferring components anyways, you'll know all these steps. It's just more simple to do, um, essentially. So, so far, the only top or the only layer that I found that I can merge is this t-shirt layer. I've tested a couple of other options for invisible body parts to see if it would merge so far haven't had any luck but I wanted to get this out so you all could start making videos or outfits so I'm gonna be doing an outfit I'm actually gonna be merging a paramedic belt onto the joggers so for those of you that don't currently have um, or are not able to merge those items together you can if you have them just already on your character you're not deleting any outfits you're just retaining whatever you have so I put on this jogger outfit and then I'm going to put on one of these scruffy open or closed jackets or the black tail coat. So those are the coats that I'm using to create this merge. You'll need to use one of these. I'll show you that you can change this after we're done merging the item, which is also really cool. So I'm just using this beige or tan one. It's the closed scruffy jacket. And then I'm going to go under suit vest and I'm going to put on this white suit vest. This is what helps you do the merge. It cre helps create the merge for you. So make sure you have one of those jackets and then the suit vest with the business shirt combo on. So far, that's the only way that I've gotten it to work. If you are having issues with it working, you're not doing it the way that I'm presenting to you. And then I'm also going to be having like a little weird bow tie kind of glitch over to this or, or tie. And so I'm adding this tan tie here as a reminder ties kind of act like checkered components so if you change things after the glitch is done it will glitch that away so i would recommend creating your entire outfit if you're just following along with my tutorial as i'm doing before you go in to do the glitch um, i'm trying not to confuse anybody but hopefully you're a little bit familiar with glitches and you understand what i'm doing so once I've got that entire outfit put together, I've got the gloves I wanted on, I've got the shoes that I wanted on, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this outfit. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be glitching a paramedic belt or merging it onto this top, the joggers, the gloves, the tie, and the shoes. So we're gonna do an old glitch, which is the heist coverall chemical suit glitch, which will give us an invisible torso. So you want to purchase that at the clothing store and then you want to head over to your um, telescope or the telescope at the beach or in your apartment. You're going to run at the telescope, hold right on your D-pad until you stop but not actually look through it. And then you're just going to select that saved outfit with that that we just saved with the joggers and the business suit. What happens is that coverall mask will glitch over and then you want to go save this outfit again. So the trick here is to just make sure that you force to save before you load into a mission. There's a couple of ways to do that. You could technically close application um, and that would kind of force a save or it would you would ensure that you force to save. But really all you need to do is either buy ammo, um, you can take the easy way out. I'm just gonna jump off the top of the building here <laughs> just to kill myself, which will force a save here. And then what we're gonna do afterwards is start up a Titan of a job. So again, this is an old glitch to give you an invisible torso, um, to remove that kind of undershirt for some of these tops, but it's only working as far as I found with the 
blazers or with the suit jackets that literally go invisible underneath. So that means that they're also invisible in free mode, if that makes sense. I've tried it with tops with just like a regular jean jacket or just um, like a regular open leather bomber jacket without that business shirt or vest combo and it didn't actually go completely invisible. So that's why I don't think it's working. If you know Cricut Cop, you know that it does merge anything that's invisible now. It's been that way for quite a while. So a Titan of a job, you can start up all by yourself. It is a rock star created mission. When you load into a Titan of a job, as long as you force that save, you should load in with the chemical mask and then you should have an invisible torso underneath of that jacket. You'll see the little glitchy tie and then you'll just have the full outfit on. If you load in with just like a, like a stocking looking black kind of mask, um, you do need to go back into free mode, quit the job, and make sure um, that you force that save. You can do that by selecting the outfit multiple times, taking the easy way out, etc. again. So what you need to do though, when you do load into the mission with the chemical mask on, is you need to go save your outfit at ammunition. So you can save it at any one of them, and then uh, I will show you after it's saved how we're going to combine or put the outfits together to merge this in Crooked Cop. So if you're not familiar with merging, you can merge from the slot before or after the, out the outfit. So um, after I quit the job here and load back into free mode, I don't know if I show this, but I did show this at the beginning of the video. I saved this outfit directly next to the slot that has the paramedic belt in it. So we're going to open up a Rockstar created job. It's a versus job called Crooked Cop. And in there, we're going to set that to player owned clothing. You will need a couple of people, at least one, to join this with you. It's not a solo job. So this is really the only non-solo part of this glitch. As long as you're in a free mode um, public session and you do uh, matchmaking set to open and you auto invite, you should get people to join you just within a couple of seconds. So I've got a few people that joined. I'm just gonna wait here for the job to load in. And then when you do load into the job, you're gonna have an outfit selection screen. So I'm gonna scroll over to the outfit that has the param paramedic belt on it, which is next to my saved outfit that had that tan jogger, tan business jacket combo on. You'll see here that when I swapped over to that, the paramedic belt merges onto this outfit. I did this on my own no component transfers, no deleting characters, no Christmas mask. This was a free mode and job type of merge. So when you load into Crooked Cop, you do need to make at least one change um, in the interaction menu as far as accessories or gear to your outfit. I recommend adding a earpiece through style accessories and gear by going left once. Um, you can also add a rebreather, but an earpiece usually works a little better. If you don't have those items, you can add anything, but you have to be cautious if you had on a bow tie because that could glitch it away. Um, you can also purchase these items at Ammunition if you didn't want to lose that item. So once you're done here, you're all merged. You can go back into free mode. Um, so you just quit the job through your phone after you've got those items at it, and then you have this saved outfit. The outfit loads fine in free mode. Um, you don't have to glitch it on a special way. And then I'm going to show you a couple more tricks here. Um, at the end of the video, another easy way to change this top or to very quickly merge something else onto the same outfit. Maybe you were doing race suit belt and you weren't quite satisfied with what you did. So when you go into a clothing store, ammunition, or your closet, save this outfit save it. <laughs> Please save it. Um, don't screw up and not save it. You can actually change the tops. So you can put on typically any open jacket, like the denim jackets, the smart jackets, some of the open parkas, um, open bomber jackets, which by the way, you can open the parkas and bomber jackets through your interaction menu under style. If you don't know that already, it's something that Rockstar did fairly recently, I think, um, you can add other suit jackets to this. So you're not really stuck with this kind of weird glitchy looking 
um, scruffy jacket here. You do have other options just in free mode on its own. This also works, I know for sure, with the, um, the trash vest. I know it works with the um, juggernaut armor. I'm sure it'll work with any of the other belts you can get in the heist miss missions. So you should be able to change through these tops. Um, you can see that I am just scrolling through everything, giving you examples of the different kind of tops you can do. So I'm going to show you a little trick that I use if I maybe was just testing the things I was merging. I didn't really like the top that I merged with something or I didn't like the item that I merged with something. Um, for example, say that I didn't like the way that this paramedic belt looked. I wanted to try a race suit belt instead with this outfit. Instead of resetting up that entire merge, saving the outfit in the slot before or after, re-going back into Crooked Cop, waiting for people to join, I have a trick. So whatever outfit that you selected, that merge outfit in Crooked Cop, if you would reload a mission right now, whatever you had on would merge together with that outfit. So I'm gonna show you what I mean here in a second. It's kind of confusing when I just say it, but it's also a way that people can save outfits out of Crooked Cop that you can't add accessories or gear or other things to. So under the outfit section here in the uh, in ammunition, I'm going to go under the air racing suit belts um, and just kind of scroll through to find one that I, th I think will maybe match <laughs> with the joggers here and then show you what I'm talking about. So under the air racing suit belts, there's a lot of different colors. All of these are ones you can end up merging and kind of doing what I did with this outfit. I'm just going to select the one that's black and tan. And then I'm going to not save that outfit, just wear that air racing suit, go into my um, online menu, and then now I'm going to again start a Rockstar created mission called a Titan of a Job. I'm not going into Crooked Cop. You'll notice that when you spawn into a Titan of a Job, you'll have that merge outfit, that outfit that I had with the merge component that I kind of added here in... Um, in the previous little section and then that air racing suit belt just automatically merges right onto that in uh in this mission it's just a weird little trick or tip something i kind of stumbled upon a long time ago um it helps me when i'm just testing merging or if i screwed up on something or i wanted to try different colors it's much quicker to do that than it is to keep going in a crooked cop every time so I'm actually going to save this in the job, which you can in Crooked Cop and Ammunition. And then I'm just going to go down to, I believe, track jackets. And I'm going to put on one of those um, track jackets that kind of match here um, and then save it. And so I have two outfits that I created merged without using a component transfer. I used a lot of the same logic um, or some of the same ideas that you would use for component transfers. It's just simple and easy. And for those of you that are always asking, um, can I change the top on my paramedic outfit? I can't do component transfers or I can't delete my character. I don't have a Krampus mask. You do have options. There are other outfits that you can create that don't require a lot of crazy thought. Um, this just gives you more options here now. So I'm doing my best to find um, other pieces, other clothing items or layers that will merge. Um, I've tested what I thought was a jacket layer, didn't work. I used to be able to get invisible feet with Juggernaut, um, the Juggernaut outfit. I stumbled upon a way to kind of save all that stuff again, but I could not get the feet to go invisible. That was going to be amazing if I could get um, a shoe merge and then also get a paramedic belt merge. I was thinking of this crazy outfit with Tron shoes on some leggings and then paramedic belt on a jacket and it was going to be great, but it's all good. So I'll keep researching and, and kind of doing my due diligence on this. If you guys have any tips or tricks for me, you can leave them in the comments. If you have questions, leave them in the comments too. But please, I beg you, read the description. I am very thorough in there, and I want to make sure you have the help that you need without waiting for me to answer, because Lord knows I'm not at my computer or phone all the time. So I really do appreciate you stopping by. Sorry if I confused you. Hope this made sense. <laughs> Leave lots of likes, comments, and I'll see you soon with more glitch videos.